Hi, welcome to this video brought to you by Maths from Scratch. This is column method multiplying level five, and this is the next one in the column method multiplying playlist. Now, this level five is similar to level four. However, there's just going to be a few more carries involved. So let's crack on with it. So in level four, we kind of introduced the pattern that we would follow to do the column method for multiplication. Level five just expands on that. So without further ado, let's crack on. So we have six times two, and if you look, in our little pattern bubble, it's just a reminder of the pattern that we need to follow. So six times two becomes 12. And so in this case, again, it's very similar to any other column method. So if we need to write a two digit number, we need to carry a number above the line. So we're gonna write 12 like so. Okay, so we read that as a 12. And then we do six times four, which is 24, and then add that one, then that's gonna become a 25. And again, because it's a two digit number, that then extends into the third column. Now, another recap from level four is that now we're moving on to the second part. We're now going to multiply this five. Now, before we do that, we need to remember to put a zero because technically it's not a five, it's a 50. And I'm going to explain how that works in another video. But for now, we'll just think of it as a five. So now follow the second part of this pattern. We're going to do five times two. And so that becomes 10. And so we need to kind of put the little one there to read that as a 10. And then the next stage or the last stage Five times four is going to be 20. Add that one, then that becomes 21. Okay, and then if you remember from level four, we then have to add these two numbers together. So two add zero is two, five add nothing is five, two add one is three, then that two on its own just becomes two. And again, if you're a bit rusty on column method for, multi uh, column method for addition, you can watch a playlist on that one. Okay, so then question two, so exactly the same thing. There's just going to be more numbers that are carrying there. And uh, we'll just we'll, we'll do it. So 3 times 8 is 24. Okay. So carrying the 2 up there. And now we're going to do 8 times 8 is 64. But then we add that 2. And so then that becomes 66. So two digit number. So we'll just extend into the third column. We're now going to move on to the second part where we multiply the 9. So we need to add a 0. 9 times 3 is 27. And again, we're allowed to carry that up there that little two that becomes a 27 and then nine times eight is 72 add that two that becomes 74 and then we're going to add these two together four add nothing is four six add seven becomes 13 and then again we now have to carry it in the addition part is 13 remember that we're not adding the little numbers together we're adding the big ones six add four is 10 add that little one becomes 11 and then seven add one is eight. And so the, the answer to that one is 8,134. And it is the case with these that you've got to practice them and make sure that you do write these little carry numbers small enough that you don't then include them in the addition. And again, if you just looked at this without having looked at question one, you probably think there were too many numbers. But again, like anything, if you just practice this, you'll be absolutely fine. Question three then, nine times six, well that becomes 54. So making an effort to write the five small. Then nine times three is 27, add that five, and so that's gonna become uh, 32. Now we're gonna move on to the four, but then, so following question, pattern number two, but making sure we add the zero. Four times six is 24, writing the little two, making it as a 24. Then four times three is 12, add that two is 14. And then second stage is we add these, add the two purple numbers up. Four add nothing, is four, two add four is six, three add four, then becomes seven, and then one on its own. So 1,764. And then the last one, question four. Okay, so this is really gonna use our times tables, the nines, the eights, and the sevens. And again, one thing I would say is always make sure that your times tables are properly secured before you start doing this. Otherwise, it, it's just absolute Boresville. You'll spend more time working out seven times eight than you were working out 98 times 87. So that's one thing that I would recommend is get dead good at your times tables. So seven times eight is 56. So making sure we write the, the five small. And then nine times seven, okay, that's 63. Add the five becomes 68. Add the zero, because we're now moving on to the second part. Eight times eight is 64. Write in a small six. Then eight times nine is 72. Add that six, that makes it 78. And then we add these together. So six add nothing is six. Eight add four becomes 12. So writing a little one there to carry. Some people write it underneath. You can do either. 
Okay, 6 add 8. Okay, that's 14. Add that 1 becomes 15. And then 7 add 1 is 8. Okay, and so those are your four little examples on how to do level 5, which is similar to level 4, but with just more carrying. Okay, and so you've got to take care with the little carry numbers there to make sure that you don't include them in the addition. So here are some practice questions for you to have a go at. They are by no means compulsory, uh, but I would recommend doing them because it's always nice that when you've learned something, you then go and put it into practice. Go check your answers on your company walkthrough video, and then I'll see you in level six. Thanks for watching.